right, folks. So last video, we discussed the breakdown of our taxes and how they're actually spent. And in that video, I promised that we would talk about Obamacare in this video. And I've actually done quite a bit of research on this. I didn't even really think about it until I watched a segment from John Oliver's last week tonight. Love the man. And you can actually look it up. He explains it beautifully. But essentially, here's the thing. People want to blame Obamacare for a lot of shit. And I don't think that they really understand what's going on there. So let me break it down for you. Okay. So Obama put forth this bill, basically stating that every citizen of the United States has a right to health care. Makes sense. And yet here's something that not everybody knows. While this was passed through legislation, the Congress or Senate or whoever the fuck adds addendums to the bill um, added an addendum that basically stated that every state has the right to either enact Obamacare or deny it. So there's a lot of states where the governor just said, no, I'm not enacting Obamacare and it's my right to not enact it. And to that, I say, fuck you, you prick. You're on the take from a healthcare provider or something. Because here's the thing, folks. I can speak from experience from New Mexico. Fortunately, I live in New Mexico. I live in a state that has enacted Obamacare. So I can speak from experience. So basically, it goes like this. Every child has a right to health care, state-funded Medicaid. Um, if you make above a certain dollar amount, I don't know exactly how that works, but I do know that here in the state of New Mexico, if your child does not qualify for Medicaid because you make too much, you can then go to New Mexico Kids and file for state health care through that uh, venue. And you'll have to pay like a copay on, on stuff, but for the most part, you don't pay premiums. And then, you know, if you make a certain dollar amount above that, then you do file for state funded health care that you will pay a premium on, but it won't be quite as much as like a privately funded health care thing. Uh, and it works the same way for individuals that are not children. It works the same way for single people. If you make above a certain dollar amount and you don't qualify for Medicaid, you can file for state funded health care that you'll only pay a copay on and then you go above a certain dollar amount on that and you'll pay a premium but it'll be a really low premium and so that's how the the system is run here in new mexico and from what i understand that's like straight across the board for all areas that have obamacare if anybody you know has more or more detailed information on that comment below let me know let's update shit but that's what I understand from there. But I do know that the state of Texas refused to enact Obamacare. I believe Louisiana did as well. And uh, I think it was Maryland or Verm not Vermont, Maryland or um, Rhode Island also chose to not enact Obamacare. So if you're living in one of those states that didn't enact, enact Obamacare, it's not Obama's fault. It's your governor's fault. He chose not to enact Obamacare. And see, here's the thing, folks. We are the only civilized country, the only industrialized first world country. Well, okay, I'll, I'll amend that statement. We're one of the only industrialized countries that doesn't offer our citizens free health care. Canada offers its citizens free health care. Norway, okay, Finland, the UK, they all offer free health care to their citizens, just like they all offer free university to their citizens. And it is because they have figured out that a educated and healthy population only benefits the country as a whole. And the United States, on the other hand, is looking at it as a business model. We can make more money. The doctors can make more money and then they can line the pockets of the people in the Senate and in Congress who vote. You see how that works? They're taking us for a ride, essentially, is what I'm telling you. So I just wanted to clear up some, some misconceptions about Obamacare, about the healthcare situation as a whole. Feel free to Google, feel free to do some research. If you find any other information that, that refutes what I'm saying, by all means, comment below. I would love to open up a debate on this. I like knowing things. <laughs> I'm curious. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in my next video where we tackle food stamps and the welfare system as a whole. Interesting.